Okay, 80% of his HP absolutely disappears. The flash goes down, the ulti popping that. He's gonna queue. Oh, shit! So I got a message on my Discord the other day and uh, a subsequent email that, that read as follows. This person was gonna try and do the 1000 stack NASA challenge. Except we're gonna try and do it deep in bronze. Time for more free skins. If you want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, and comment with your region and your summoner name down below. If you want a better chance, make sure you hit that notification bell because I pick the winners within the first six hours of the video going live. Here's some skins the person won. Now let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another video sock drawer. We're here with another bronze spectates today. And as I said, the 1000 stacks NASA's challenge is being undergone right now. Now, I don't think he's going to be doing it properly. Now, usually the way I did it before, with the 1000 stacks NASA's challenge, I've done videos on it in the past, and I was going to try and do a better version of it uh, recently. Uh, you have to get 1000 stacks on NASA's before you're even allowed to actually attack anybody. Now, there's different rules of this. You can either try and get 1000 stacks, and then you're, then you're allowed to kill people, so you can hurt them, but you're not allowed to kill them, or you can use it, uh, you can go for hardcore mode and not even attack anybody. I don't think this is how this is going to happen. I think he's going to just do it anyway, but he's going to not leave this lane until he gets a thousand stacks at the very least. So anyway, let's get into this. If you do want to submit a bronze spectates replay, email will be on screen. Guys, there have been so many people that have been submitting non, uh, non bronze, non like non ranked. If you're going to send me any replays that are either not bronze or not even in ranks or anything like that, title your email as follows on the screen. And make sure you make uh, you put a timestamp as well as a description of what exactly happens in it, because I'm I'm considering with the sheer amount of things that I've been getting recently, of uh, people's people's submissions that aren't bronze, that aren't even normal, their their normal games or whatever, even low level players, because uh, I don't really like feel comfortable doing a spectate on level 15 players. If you go down in the comment section, suggest me a title for this series. I'll pick a winner. I'll give them a bunch of skins if I end up using that. Uh, using that title because I, I, I feel like some of these are good things some of these are pretty funny but I can't use them in a bronze spectates because it wouldn't be a bronze spectates if it ain't ranked and it ain't bronze so yeah let's get into it now we've gotten that out of the way I feel like this is gonna be a pretty boring lane top side I'm not gonna lie like after a while Zed is not gonna be able to do a thing to this uh, this Nasus it's literally just a matter of time. Zed's going to have to hard stomp this Nasus as quickly as he can. Otherwise, there is going to be nothing that he can do against that. I mean, he's not even doing a tremendous amount of damage already. The, uh, the Nasus, like, I don't know. He's going for Doran's shield. And he's doing a good job of, like, blocking damage, I guess. He's got that passive lifesteal as well to keep him going. He's currently sitting on 33 stacks already. Three minutes into the game. Not too shabby. He's got Dark Harvest as well. So he is going to be doing... Some nasty damage eventually. Eventually, this man is going to be doing nasty damage. Whether or not he reaches 1000 stacks and completes the challenge is a different question altogether. But my god, is this man going to try? Okay, Nas is going hard on Zed, giving him the cane. Zenzel's coming in as well, though. Nas doesn't have a lot of mana, but he's still got the health advantage here. Dropping the motherfucking cane one more time. Here we go. Boom! Oh, wait, hold on. Boom! There we go. That's it. That's a double kill for Nas. There we go. I might have mistimed that, to be honest. <laughs> That's not how you want to start a game against Nasus. You do not want to start by getting uh, by going in one by one and uh, dying to him. So he's got blue buff. I'm pretty certain that Nasus isn't going to need to leave now because he is uh, going to have infinite sustain, pretty much. The lifesteal that he gets passively on top of him, just like, the cooldown reduction and being able to siphoning strike constantly is going to make this an interesting game. I, yeah, he's, I mean, he might back now actually to pick up Sheen probably, but he wants to probably make as much use of that blue buff as he can, uh, I'd say. Yeah, good start. So honestly, 10 minutes into this game, not a whole lot has happened. There's only six kills in this, all of which have been not particularly interesting in any degree, but we've got our Nasus. He's got 170 stacks, 52 stacks of Dark Harvest at 10 minutes into the game, which is pretty damn good for low bronze. Like, I have absolutely seen D5 players farm worse than this. Like, he's farming very well. 19 CS in 10 minutes, that is really, really nice farming. And I guess he's playing against like a lane that's quite complacent, like Zed really isn't doing anything or trying to do anything here. But still, like even despite that, I mean, Zed is trying to damage him, he's just not doing a whole lot. 
He's, he's got half the CS of my boy Nasus right now. So he's doing a good job of this. If he tries to fight, if Zed tries to fight this, we've got pings kind of coming out here from blue side. So it looks like Zen Zen might hit up top. I mean, he shouldn't hit up top lane. He absolutely shouldn't. If he hits, if he gets Rift Herald, then hits top lane, he will die. 100%. They will get double killed. But we'll see if he tries to do it anyway. He's picking up a little bit of uh, of health here. Rengar is there. Zen Zen is moving up towards top. The pings are coming out here. Like, Nasus can 100% fight this. He's not even trying to run away here. Dropping the cane. Half health and a one shot. Fucking destroyed. Now, that's the Zen Zen down. It's now a 2v1 now with uh, Zed trying to, like, trick the Rengar beyond the bush. But it's not going to work. That's a double kill for Nasus. Christ almighty. That was a lot of damage. I mean, we knew. We knew that that was going to... That was going to be a clap. I didn't expect it to be quite... Like, he was even getting pushed away. Fuck, that did so much damage, though. Zed made a nice little effort there to try and jig the Rengar, though. That was actually fairly well played. But he's just really far behind. He's playing Zed top, so he's not exactly playing the most optimal thing in the world. I mean, we got Nidalee mid as well. Like, what the fuck? Is this 2009 or something? Like, is this 20... Are we playing in Season 3 or some shit right now? Is this what's happening? We got Nidalee mid again. I mean, we got, we got Zig's support as well. This is a little... I mean, this, this team is a little bit confusing. In fact, no, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Zex is mid right now. He's also been stealing CS. Ah, uh, the mystery is beginning to unravel. Bit by bit. Okay. So we're 12 minutes in. 260, CS, uh, 260 stacks on Nasus right now. 76 Dark Harvest as well. That's pretty nasty. We got a kill on bot side right now. Fairly standard. That's going to be the tower for red side here. First tower coming out. We've got top tower really, really low as well. I'm interested to see like... We've almost got, I mean, he could have finished his uh, Trinity Force, but he's decided to build that Caulfield's Hammer as well. I'm interested to see how much damage he does with 1Q onto, uh, maybe at least after he gets a Dark Harvest proc, how much damage he would do to the, the Zed. We'll probably see right now. Okay, that's like, that's like a quarter health. Okay, that's like half it. Okay, yeah, that's dead. Uh, <laughs> um, right then, okay. Well, this game... This game's not looking too hot. We're 2 and 11 right now. Nasa is farming like an absolute beast. Uh, and this tower's gonna fall. Bot tower's just falling there. First tower going out. And that's gonna be... Uh... Actually, you know what? He's not. He's not taking the tower. He wants to farm. He wants to make the most. He's actually committing himself. He's committing himself to the 1000 stack challenge right now, dude. He's actually committing himself. <laughs> so what he's doing is he's keeping the tower up. So that uh, he doesn't have to push up too far to get the minions. So he's got a better chance of farming here than he would if he just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. So that's sly. I like that. Mm. Jinx has moved up towards top lane. We've got there the enemy Rift Herald boy side coming up here. Nasus should be able to deal with it. It's going to get stuck on these minions a little bit. But the chances are, I mean, it's not going to take this tower. Far too high HP for this to happen. Nasus is going to be there to block that off. Jinx is here. She's playing with fire a little bit here. The weather goes down. This is going to be a one-shot. This is going to be straight up one-shot. Boom! There we go. Three quarters of your health fucking disappear. Boom! There we go. That's it. The full fucking HP one-shot, baby. That's it. My mother died after watching this video. Night Blue 3 fucking pog champ. That's it, boys. Sorry, was that cancer enough for you? There you go. And she leaves, it. She leaves the game for that as well. Jinx left the game. Goodbye, Jinx. <laughs> I, I can't say I blame you, but still. <laughs> so Nasa's finally pushing up here. He's gotten that tower. Anybody that fights him is an idiot. Anybody that tries to fight him at this point, especially if they actually happen to stumble in him in the jungle. That's a death sentence right there. He's just farming the wolves. Zenzo sees him. He's literally five levels lower than him. Woo! Okay. Se okay. 80% of his HP taken off in one Q. Uh, yeah, that's not too hot. <laughs> You're five levels lower, man. You shouldn't even try and fight that, dude. He's literally got 120 CS on you in 70 minutes, dude. <laughs> no. Nasus is trying to set up the death bush. Although, they do have vision of that. I think they'll see the circle. What is that? What is Zed doing? I don't... Oh, okay. 8% of his HP absolutely disappears. The flash goes down. The ulti popping that. He's going to queue. Oh, shit. Okay. This man is actually a one-man army. There's nothing that can stop this creature. If he's literally 99% of Zig's HP in 1Q, 
that shouldn't be a thing that happens. That isn't, huh? <laughs> that is actually terrifying. I, I mean, they should just. This game's over. Let's be real. There's no positive, no positivity in the world that could save this game as it, as it is in its current form. 22, uh, sorry, 21 kills to two. Uh, there's a 14k goal difference in 22 minutes in the game. This man's gonna come through. He's flashing. Doesn't matter though. Absolutely obliterated 40% of his HP. That was like that was like an overkill hit as well. 0 11 Zenzo, 0 7 Z. I mean, I feel bad. The rest of the team are doing meh. I mean, Jinx left the game, so yeah. No skill champ, just Q. No skill champ, just Q, 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 Q. I mean, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong, but still, this man has got 300 CS. In tw almost 300 CS in 23 minutes. I genuinely, I genuinely don't know how he's done that. He has farmed over 10 CS a minute. Like, what? Like, genuinely what? Like, he's genuinely farmed like 20, like, uh, maybe 11 or 12 CS a minute. And that is insanity. I guess he's kind of been uncontested in top lane, but that is actually genuinely insanity. Um, Christ almighty. He has got 723 stacks. I don't know if he'll get to the 1000 stack part, but he's certainly... Wait, hold on. How much damage did he just do there? I want to see that right now. I want to see how much damage he just did there. So Nasus comes in. He drops the wither. He stands waiting at the uh, the point where he goes back to his his, sh his cone, I guess. And then, oh shit! Twelve hundred damage. Christ! <laughs> oh, can hell, dude? He's got a, he's got a one shot this Jinx. He's got to one shot this Jinx. Please give it to me. Give something to me. I want to see it. I need to see the one shot. Jinx needs to disappear. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Boom! There we go. That's it. The literal, literal one shot. Literally one shot. Like, Christ almighty, man. <laughs> this game's done, dude. This game's done. This man has got 750 stacks, 200 darks harvest uh, souls. His Qs do ridiculous amounts of damage like genuinely unfair levels of damage i feel like if he actually manages to hit somebody they're they're pretty much one shot like material like he manages to take off like 99 percent of someone's health with one he is 25 minutes out of the game and he is level 17 the highest on his team that isn't him is 13 like what he is almost max level at 25 minutes and the highest on the other enemy team, like the average is like the average, um, the average level is about twelve. Like <laughs> he's twelve and zero, and that's the game. <laughs> well, listen, man. I'm sorry to say this, but you didn't actually pass the challenge. You, uh, you very clearly failed the one thousand stack challenge. You only got seven hundred eighty. Now you did get two hundred twenty souls. So if we count that, then I guess you technically passed. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. What he did, did he pass the challenge? He did get 1,000 stacks, but it wasn't on a particular thing. I'd say well played, though, I guess. I mean, you kind of just face roll the shit out of the enemy team and, and into, like, submission. But anyway, that was it. That was that was an interesting bronze spec takes. Thank you very, very much, guys, for watching this. If you do have any bronze moments, don't forget to uh, email them email them to me with the title of this on the screen right now. To this email, or if you just have a regular bronze spectates that is ranked and is bronze, the email on the screen can be used for that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to join the Discord and all that jazz as well. Take care.